Someone made a comment on uh, YouTube how it's funny that this was the Sons of Anarchy. Like, uh, uh -huh. today. They weren't all street bobs. They they were they were dinas necessarily. I mean that's what they. Jack had a street bob. He did have a street bob, but you know, have you ever seen the, the footage of him? He didn't actually ride it. He was in it. Well, yeah, it was like they had they had a truck and a trailer that had the front wheel chalked basically, and it drug him. And he sat on there like he was riding. And then we had uh, the last dealership we were at. We had a viewing with uh, Juice and Tig, yeah. so we watched the final episode with them, and they actually rode and they actually got their bikes at the end of it. But he didn't do anything. And 18. After Harley came out the Milwaukee 8 and the touring bikes in 17, they redesigned the soft tails. So in 18, when they redesigned the soft tails, they put the Milwaukee 8 in there, and they totally eliminated the Dyna family. So you had models that were in the Dyna family that they then converted over to soft tails. So this is one of them, a street bob. You have a few other ones, but you know we like street bobs. Street bobs are fun. I mean, motor-wise and weight-wise, I mean, they got a great power to weight ratio. I mean, these are the same motors they put in the baggers, they put in trikes. Uh, so, you know, this is a small frame bike. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than a Sportster, uh, but power to weight ratio, I mean, it, it's phenomenal. So now all the soft tail models have what they call a monoshock underneath of it. So with the bike, when you purchase it, you get an owner's manual and you also get a spanner wrench. So you can take the spanner wrench and it's got numbers on here. So then you can use the spanner wrench to adjust uh, the preload on the shock based on how you ride, how much you weigh, how much luggage you're carrying, if you're carrying a passenger, all those play a factor in it. So you can adjust that as you ride to make the bike more comfortable for you. Uh, before, they had shock mount on the outside. So you had a shock over here, a shock over here. There's no bike out here that has that on there. Oh, actually, there's that, that switchback right there. So that switchback right there, that chrome thing in front of the saddlebag, those are the rear shocks. So that has one on the right, one on the left. Um, when they redesigned them, they put the mono shock on there. In 2022 and 2023, so this is a 22 and red line red, still have available, great bike. This is a 23 in industrial yellow. And then this is a 23 in vivid black. Yes, it has orange on it. No, it is not called orange. It is vivid black from the motor company and it has the orange on it. That's just how the blacks come this year, okay? So the Street Bob has a single-sided rotor up front, does not have dual disc up front. All right, it's got a 114 cubic inch motor. The nice thing about the Street Bobs in the recent years, 22, 23, they have the 114 in them. They also come set up for two up. Before, they never had this passenger pylon here. They didn't have the passenger pegs. That was something you had to purchase after the fact. Now, they come set up for them, which is nice because most people do ride two up. Um, they also put LED headlights up front. So all the bikes come with the LEDs now before they were just the halogen bulb. They also, in the triple tree, they put all of your instrument clusters in the triple tree. You have your fuel, your mileage, all your indicator lights down here, and then we can actually go through and change. So you have trip A, trip B, fuel remaining, time, and RPMs. So you can have your speed and your RPMs. And then actually, once you get going, it'll also tell you what gear you're in. We're getting closer. We're almost at 10K. We're not there yet. So please subscribe for all the good info, all of our videos. We like talking to you guys. We like the views. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.